Let us begin with chapter 1, The Chemical World. Remember, if you are not writing, you are not learning. You are only watching a movie. In this chapter, we will ask the beginning question. What is chemistry? And we will answer it. And also, we will look at the scientific method. If you ask a layman what is a chemical, by layman, I mean somebody that has never taken chemistry before. The layman would most likely tell you about a stereotypical chemical. An example would be the layman would tell you, oh, I know what a chemical is. A chemical could be a paint thinner or the chemical waste that they have seen being dumped in somebody's backyard. In reality, everything is chemistry. The educated view of chemical would be the book you are writing on, I hope you are writing, the pen you are writing with, or the pencil, the soda you are drinking, or maybe the coffee, you writing on the paper, you are made of chemical. Everything is a chemical. So, the next logical question then would be, what is chemistry? And this is usually the beginning definition we give for chemistry. Chemistry is the study of the composition, the structure, the properties, and the reactions of matter. And that is the next question. What is matter? But before we answer that question, chemistry occurs around you every day. Let us take a look at this simple example where an antacid, which is a solid, is dropped into liquid water and it produces a gas. That is a very simple demonstration of chemistry. We are moving from solid, liquid, and we are getting a gas. But this is the next question to ask. I said chemistry is the composition, is the study of the composition, structure, properties, and reactions of matter. So, what is matter? Very simply, the way to describe matter would be anything you can see with your eyes. If you can see it, it's a piece of matter. So if you can see it, you can touch it. Even if you cannot see it, but you know it is there. For example, we inhale oxygen, oxygen gas. We cannot see oxygen gas, but it is there. We exhale carbon dioxide gas. We cannot see it, but it is there. As long as it exists, then it is a piece of matter. So matter is another word for all substances that make up our world. I've shown you the example of the antacid tablet being dropped in water. The antacid tablet itself is a piece of matter. The water that we dropped it inside is a piece of matter. And the gas, the carbon dioxide gas that we were able to observe because of the fizzling of the water is a piece of matter. So, water is matter. The oxygen gas we breathe in, the carbon dioxide gas we exhale, 
anything you can see around you is a piece of matter. So, chemistry is the study of the composition of matter. Well, what is matter made up of? That is one of the fundamental questions we like to answer in chemistry. And later, as we move on, you will learn that matter is made up of atoms and molecules. Uh, the pieces of the matter, how are they connected together? We want to learn about that and we will learn about that this semester. We want to learn about the properties of matter. How does it behave? The characteristics of matter. And we will definitely learn about the reactivity of matter. How does it react with other substances when it is around them?